What's going on guys? John Alder here from CodingMe.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to reset your index for your data frame with pandas. All right guys, like I said in this video, we're going to reset our index. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodingMe.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos to teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off membership to all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, moving right along. Like I said, in this video, we're going to reset our index. And what is our index? It's this column right here, the very first column. It's sort of like our headers, right? And it says 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. In this video, I'm going to show you how to change those if you want and change them back. So we've got our regular code that we're always using. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other pandas videos in this series. So check that out if you haven't so far. Now I've imported our dog data, but I've imported the short version. We've used this a couple of times and you can see it just has five records. This is just going to make it easier to sort of show you how to do this. So the first thing you want to do is create a new column. So we want to go my underscore DF and then just sort of name it. So I'm going to call this um, frame header or something like that. And then we just set this equal to whatever we want. So we've got five records. So let's just create five headers. I'm going to call it dog one, kind of boring here. So dog two, dog three, dog four and dog five, right? So we could shift editor to run this and that should do the trick. Now, if we want to actually see this, we can my underscore DF and boom, you see, we've got this new column over here called frame header and it's got dog one, two, three, four, and five. Now that's great, but that's a new column. Now, how do we make that into our index? How do we replace these numbers over here with this column? Well, it's easy. We just set the index. So to do that, we call my underscore df dot set underscore index. Very easy. And this is a function. So then we just want to pass in which column we want to do. And we want to do frame header. So we can just copy this and boom. Now, if we run this, you can see here it is frame header. Those numbers have been replaced. The formatting here looks a little wonky. That's normal. Uh, but if we run this again, my underscore df, you'll notice, boom, it's gone back to normal. Remember several videos ago, we talked about in place. If you want to make things permanent with pandas, you have to specifically say, hey, make this permanent. And we do that with in place. So we could just come up here and go in place equals true. Run that again. Now, if we show this shift enter, boom, we see now it's permanent. So, okay, just that easy. Now, what if we want to reset it? What if we're like, hey, that's cool, but I want the old numbers back. How do we do that? We can use the reset index function. Super easy. We just call my underscore df dot reset. You'll never guess index, <laughs> right? So boom, now those numbers are back and it's just sort of pushed that column over. But again, if we come down here and just my underscore df, we're going to see it's back to the way it was because again, we didn't set the in place. So you always want to go in place equals true. Then if we run this, boom, now it's made it permanent. So, okay, that's cool. We've reset our index. Now, maybe we don't want this frame header thing there at all. How do we get rid of that? Well, we've talked about this in other videos. We could just drop that column. So we go my underscore DF dot drop. And then what do we want to drop? Well, we want to drop frame header. But remember when we drop a column, we have to set the axis and the up and down is zero and left and right is one. So we have to go axis equals one. So when we do that, boom, it disappears. If we show it again, my underscore DF, just to make sure, whoops, it's still there because again, we didn't set the in place. You always want to do in place equals true. If you want to make it permanent, a lot of times you don't want to make it permanent. So that's why this is nice. But if we run this again and then show this, boom, that column is gone forevermore. And we've gone full circle. We're right back where we started. We started up here creating a new column and we added it to our data frame, then we change it to the index, then we reset our index back to the way it was, then we drop that column and here we are back right where we started. So super quick, super easy to do this. Lots of different reasons why you might want to do this before I get into some of those reasons kind of moving forward in the rest of the course. But when you need to reset your index or change the index, add a new column to the index, that's how you do it. So that's all for this video. If you like, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. And check out CodeMe.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off membership. So it's access to all my courses, over 50 courses, thousands of videos, and PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from CodeMe.com, and I'll see you in the next video.